Should we be reminded nice people often finish last in hotels? We are usually told that the successful hotelier has certain positive traits, for example, to calmly and patiently handle tough customers and balancing all the issues within the hotel. However, I have been asked to share some ideas with you many authors write about the traits seen in many great leaders, which I think you'll be interested in, especially as not all of them seem positive. Always demanding perfection. Leaders are often perfectionists and can often never be satisfied with their own work, as well as the work of others. This could cause delays in hotels, as well as causing frustration within their teams. A very high level of multitasking. Leaders often have a hundred things going on in their minds and switch rapidly from one thing to another, possibly leaving certain hoteliers confused if they're not careful. Being overconfident. Often letting their egos drive decisions, which is not the same as confidence based on knowledge and trust. Hoteliers need a healthy ego, but not any negative traits of arrogance. Very strong values. Leaders can often refuse to compromise. The best hotel leaders need strong values but they must not be stubborn. We all know that in hotels, there are too many stakeholders that need pleasing. Often not a team player. Despite what we would think, leaders often don't always enjoy working with others at the beginning of their career. In time, however, every hotel requires a team and must change despite a struggle. Paranoia is often developed where the leader does not trust everyone. In hotels we must have a better trait of being alert, which we must never allow to develop into the harder to manage paranoia. Workaholic tendencies. Most leaders will admit having worked too hard at some stage of their career. In hotels this might be seen as negative by friends, family and team members and could limit hoteliers' success. Emotional and temperamental leading to mood changes and outbursts for no reasons is often apparent within leaders. Good hotel leaders must display more controlled sensitivity towards their people. A very successful leader in hospitality can probably relate to these not so positive traits which can be self-controlled if you're strong enough. Should we be reminded nice people often finish last in hotels? Speak to you soon.